In this example, we're going to determine the integral for the square of the natural log with respect to x. And we're going to do so by using integration by parts. So I need to choose a u and a dv from this initial integral. So the square is going to be my u, and then the, the dv is just going to be this dx. So when I set everything up, u is going to be ln of x squared, which means du will be 2 times the ln of x times that derivative, which is 1 over x, dx. So then we have v and dv, and we said dv was just dx. So when we go backwards and integrate both sides, we get x. So now that we know all of our information, let's go ahead and plug into the formula. u times v is going to be x times the square of the natural log of x minus the integral of v du. So x times, and then all of this. So 2 times the ln of x times 1 over x times dx. Well, this isn't so bad because these x's will cancel, and 2 is a constant, so I can bring them out front of this integral. And I can rewrite that as minus 2 times the integral of the natural log of x dx. Well, that's not so bad at all. So to find this integral, now it's just the natural log of x, where initially we had the square of the natural log of x. We've kind of whittled the powers down. We're going to do integration by parts again. So u will be the ln of x. So du will be 1 over x dx. And the dv will just be the dx. So v is x when I integrate both sides. So what I have here is, and I'm just going to rewrite all of this, so minus 2 times, and we have our formula, u times v, so x times the ln of x, minus the integral of x times 1 over x dx. And of course, those cancel. So we're almost there. It's just a matter of simplifying some things. All right, so I'm going to run that 2 through. So minus 2x times the ln of x. And then the negative 2 and this minus will be positive 2. And then the integral of just, well, it looks like 1 with respect to x is just x. And then we'll put a plus c on the end. So there are no like terms here. So I can't do any more simplification. So the integral then for the square of the natural log of x is going to be this expression. So we just worked out that the integral for the square of the natural log of x with respect to x is this expression right here. So let's go ahead and take the derivative of this and just verify that we do indeed get the square for the natural log of x. All right, well, we've got a few things going on here. We have the product rule here and then the chain rule inside here. So let's do the derivative of the first, which is just x, so it's going to be 1. So it's just the ln of x squared plus x times 2 times the ln of x times the derivative of the inside, so 1 over x, minus, and then we have product rule here again, so the derivative of the first, so, and then minus 2x times 1 over x, and then plus 2. Okay, so we have tons of stuff going on here. Hopefully, we'll have some things that cancel out. In fact, here's the square of our natural log right here, so I'm hoping that all of this cancels out. So let's go ahead. We have one, two, three, four terms here. So this x and this x cancel, so I have plus 2 ln of x minus 2 ln of x, so those will cancel. And these x's cancel, so I have minus 2 plus 2, so those cancel. So yes, indeed, we do have the integral correct.